listening to Frank Skinner's podcast from Absolute Radio. This is Frank Skinner on Absolute Radio with Emily Dean and Alan Cochran. You can text our show on 8 12 15. Many have, many will. Follow the show on Twitter at Frank on the Radio or email the show via the Absolute Radio website. Your choice. Good morning. Back. Good morning, everyone. Good morning, Al. Good morning. Back from um, holidays. Indeed. Lovely and sun kissed. Thank you very much. Yeah. You see, Lasts about three days of tan on me. He's got the uh, short sleeve post holiday shirt. And the lighter shirt the I could older... find for your benefits. Love it. Thank you. Can I ask a, a question? Uh oh. Um, don't you feel. You never normally ask permission to ask questions, <laughs> no. so the sense of foreboding is <laughs> no, enormous. No, no, it's not. It's, it's not I've, I've, I've built it up. Um, do you feel after a, a sun kissed holiday hmm. mm. slightly trapped in your beard now? No, it never occurs oh, to I me. I knew this was going to Because you couldn't. You couldn't shave it off oh, to now. die. Oh, right. <laughs> You'd look like a I sort know. of a sepia Batman. Oh, yeah. yeah. And all, Well, I was thinking you meant that the beard is quite winter is coming. No, but you're trapped oh. in your own tan line. Once yeah. you've, once you've gone saying, a bit brown with a beard. Yeah. 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 You're and committed for, for quite some time. I imagine then. a claustroph... Could a claustrophobic mm-hmm. person have a beard? <laughs> text in, 8 12, 15. 8, 12, 15. I think the great problem is they couldn't have a beard in the summer because they would feel trapped in that beard yeah. because the tan line would, would restrain them. Yeah. I mean, I, I see a, obviously there's a lot of beards are the thing at the moment with... Uh, Oh, they're all the rage. Yeah. People say that, but I think beards were the thing before clean shaven was the thing. I think well, they people, probably were. <laughs> people often bring it up as if the fashion is yeah. for beards rather than that the fashion is for clean shavenness. Well, I but with, amongst young men, um, right. and I'm not talking about the shipwrecked. I'm talking about <laughs> those that operate in the normal world. Uh, am I being Since put in the young been... men category? That you're no, you're just now. A... Do you know what I mean? Now, absolutely middle aged. He's I been know. reading Tre- Treasure Island, and it's shipwrecked. Oh, this yeah. shipwrecked that. <laughs> and of course, there's Alan in there, isn't there, there is, there and is, there's there. Alan. <laughs> there is indeed. <laughs> and um, I said indeed, which is what people say <laughs> on local news. <laughs> yes, indeed. So um, and they say there a lot as well. Alan Cochran there with. Um, <laughs> So, uh, yeah, but you know what I mean, the hipster look of the no, no socks and a beard. Yeah. That mm-hmm. thing. Yeah. And I've seen a couple this week and they've looked hot. You know, it's been very close this week. It has yeah. been oh, very it's close. been close. <laughs> it's been so close. It's been, yeah. the weather it's been this Glenn. Week. It has. You know, but I know what you're saying because the goth was always, those were where my they first sympathies hot. went in, yeah. um, in the heat. And now it is the hipster. Yeah. At least they have a bare ankle, though. But do you, does it make and, you and a bit hotter? See, I used to have a beard, but that was in my drinking days when I had no concept. Oh, that looked nice. No concept of temper. <laughs> it wasn't one of those carefully carved ones like Noel Edmonds, let's put it that way. Was it just, I have given up on my entire face? Yes, it was. <laughs> it was, would you let me hold anything sharp close to your neck? <laughs> that, that was what I would call that beard. <laughs> With my shaking hands. There were times I got up in the morning after after a proper night out where I used to drink directly from the tap because I couldn't hold it. My hands were shaking them, which I couldn't I couldn't actually hold a, a glass. That's a nice story. <laughs> it is. Uh, breakfast radio here on, uh, on Absolute. Um, what are you but drinking? No, <laughs> but can I... Uh, and my mum says, you don't do that, she said, because sometimes you get um, slogs come come out, <laughs> come straight out the tap. I, mean, I like that that was an immediate concern. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. She, said if it, oh, she said, you see it in a glass, but if it goes in, it that straight into your throat. It's a good bit of logic, I think. Yeah. But what I was going to ask is, do you feel it makes you a bit... Hotter. hotter. I mean, hotter in the temperature sense. It obviously makes you hotter in the. Looks absolutely great. Visuals. The visuals. <laughs> no, I don't think it makes me hotter in the. Uh, you don't think? Oh no. God, I'd love to get. You know, when you've got a, say, a singlet on. Let's say a tank top. <laughs> singlet. Oh, I would yeah, love. I'm not I would a like gym a class top. in the forties. You know, when you're wearing a tank top and you think, oh, I take this off, it's too hot. I'd feel that with a beard. I think. No, I think. Um, I might get one of those with the hooks that go over the ears. <laughs> 
No, I'm serious, though. It <laughs> may look hot, is what I'm saying. No, I've not found it um, problematically hot, my yeah. beard. He's, okay. he's persisting with this. It's all got to be your witness. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, More of a concern is, and I did trim it with, um, I didn't have any scissors on holiday, so I ended up using nail clippers to trim uh, the... The lip oh. section of my moustache, as yeah. it were. Uh-huh. Um, so that, that was a that, bit of an undignified one, couldn't it? Yeah, yeah, could have put my whole could've, mouth in could've there. Could have nicked your lip. <laughs> I hate it when that happens. Yeah. Still, bit of newspaper. What will people yeah. do when newspapers are gone? Hey, oh, yeah. hey you can't stick the internet <laughs> yeah. on a show. You've got to get for that. No, no. <laughs> absolute, absolute, absolute radio. Frank Skinner on Absolute Radio. Um, we've actually had a, um, a, a whatever happened to in the emails during the week. Oh, um, yeah. Hi, Frank, Emily and Alan. Long can time ask, read. Can, oh, sorry, yeah. can I ask one more beard? Yeah, sure. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> well, the reason I asked about the beard before was that Kath, and my part of that, yeah. if ever my a woman... David Furnish. If a woman comes on... The, there are certain women who appear on the telly. Let's say um, Cheryl... Um, Cool. Tweedy as was. I don't. I can't yeah. remember. What she she's just called that. Cheryl now. Oh, Cheryl. Mm. Okay. Mm. When Cheryl comes on the telly, um, Kath always says, "Oh, hot hair, hot hair." Right. Mm. And there's a few people, women mainly, she says that about when their hair looks so dense mm. that you'd think, "Oh, God, that must be it. like having a big woolly hat on." Yeah. Yeah. And that's why I ask about the beard. Right. Can I ask one more question? Sure. Well, shall we, do you want to do this and then we can come back to no, it? I'm very happy no, to on. answer your beard questions. Ask, ask your beard questions. The other thing that I was thinking about looking at these young men was they don't... <laughs> Thank you, pardon. The, the young bearded men that he was gawping at. <laughs> yeah. I, was, I was in a car, we were stuck in traffic. There were two men the with joy beards. of tinted windows. <laughs> and I thought if these men stood any closer together, they could become enmeshed. Oh, yeah, like I'm sure Velcro. that's a hazard. Because of the beards. Yeah. You just won't be able to separate. Hook yeah. and loop, isn't it? Oh, yeah. Exactly. I love that detective that, show. <laughs> did, you know, did you know their name? <laughs> <laughs> so, anyway, um, they. Um, it struck me that you probably don't moisturise that part of your face. Do you moisturise no. through your beard? I do, yeah. Do you? Do you? Yeah. <laughs> okay. I was... Yeah. When I had you, a beard, yeah, um, I def I didn't moisturise at all, so I don't know. I moisturised with cider. No, day. it was very au naturel, your beard. So that's it? what men do, they moisturise through the beard. Oh, but some do. I mean, some don't. I also sometimes get a bit of beard druff, but let's not get too bogged uh, down. See, I think the face, the face under the beard is like the back of the fridge, <laughs> all covered, <laughs> covered with bits of fluff and stuff <laughs> neglected. Anyway, that's enough enough beard talk. No, is it? I, I, I can't ta- get enough. I, I love more. it. <laughs> I take it back. He does wear socks, can I say that? I respect Who, me? It. Yeah. Yeah. Just in case anyone's thinking, hold on, does Alan Cochran not wear socks? No, no, I do. I've got got a big moment. We've got a big moment. I've just got the break. Oh, God, I thought that was just going to be a short short digression. Oh, okay. Um, By the way, um, oh, never mind. (laughs) (laughs) I'm sorry, I'm I'm getting the daggers from the producer. Sorry. And uh, can you say that? (laughs) Don't know. Can you say that? Straight to prison. So tricky nowadays. (laughs) It's a reference to knife crime, right? Yeah. <laughs> oh, or Macbeth. Oh, God. Honestly, it's thin ice. Absolute, absolute, absolute radio. Frank Skinner on Absolute Radio. So I was going to read you a little uh, whatever happened to email that mm-hmm. we've had come in. Um, and we've got bogged down in beard gates, but we can always revisit that. I'm very Bob, happy Bob to. down? Is he, is he on? <laughs> <laughs> um... Uh, this came in on Wednesday. I know it's only Wednesday, but uh, whatever happened to has come into my head whilst I lay in a sleeping bag in a tent in the Vale of Pickering campsite, North Yorkshire, listening to next door snoring. That's something I forget about camping, that you end up hearing the snores of, like, adjacent properties, yes. as it were. Yeah. Not good. Well, I, well, I did um, Glastonbury once, and I heard this... Main stage? Uh, no, um, no, I was in the children's tent. I had a, my first manager made a mistake. <laughs> anyway, um, I was in the tent and I heard, and I thought, oh, what's going on? And it was very adjacent. <laughs> and I thought, oh, dare I look outside? And uh, it was somebody juggling. Oh, not so bad. 
Yeah. Not so bad. I thought someone was getting a round of applause. Yeah. <laughs> Very slow. <laughs> yeah, exactly. And then, was, then there was some white middle class people playing Bob Marley. <laughs> Woke me up one morning. Oh, that's oh. nice. Oh, Glastonbury. Um, so this is the, the so Vale of Pickering in North for. Yorkshire. Oh, yeah, Vale of Pickering. Uh, Chris continues, I fear if I do not send this now, then I never will. There's a strange sense of melodrama to him. Um, <laughs> whatever, kind of whatever happened to fish pedicures? A few years yes. ago, they were all the rage. Yes. With yeah. shops popping up all over, enabling you to have hundreds of small fish nibble at the hard skin on your feet. They, they just seem to have just disappeared, and I now don't know where I can get one. What's happened to all the fish? Have they been rehomed? Many thanks. Praise withheld. Chris from Red Car. I love that. I Chris. was just thinking about these fish pedicures yeah. the other day because I think it'd be quite fun to have one. Well, yeah, but I mean, he's absolutely right. It was a very five, six years. When, when that beard comes off, you now. might need to have one on your face. <laughs> <laughs> All that non moisturisation. <laughs> I think the tanks just um, got a bit old. Didn't they oh, find? Really? Didn't they find that there was some sort of bacteria living in the water or something from oh. that from you know the feet. The mixing of feet stuff. Oh, I see. Oh, that doesn't sound as good. Uh, I, I mean, that's one of those, you know, when you say something and you halfway through it, you think, where have I got this from? <laughs> um, but it, it's a vague, um, right. it could be a lie, is what I'm saying. <laughs> okay. Yeah. I'm not right enough that Res- it could be a lie. Respect. Yeah. Respect for your But I, I, it might not be. Okay, you that's but it is that. a good whatever happened. Did you to. ever have a, a fish pedicure? I Emily? didn't know. I am. Um, I graciously declined. <laughs> we used to say. Uh, I had one at my fashion um, magazine. I was uh, when I used to live in the West Midlands. Uh, we had one with. Uh, we had four devil dogs in a paddling pool. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, we tried it with that, but it didn't really it didn't no, work out. Not so no, good. I never had it. I always thought, how do you stop them? How do you? Oh, when right, that yeah. point, where, see if I'm at the at the chiropodist mm. and yeah. he gets a bit, um, he knows your gets, escape word, doesn't well, he? Yeah, exactly, <laughs> exactly. Piranhas <laughs> have no safe word. Yeah. Um, if he gets a bit gung ho with the spinning disc, you know he's got yeah. like a sanding disc. Really? Sometimes, you know, there's um, w- when I see blood hitting the ceiling. Oh yeah. Then I can say um, a s- cease. I don't even know what language pr- where are piranhas my from my issue with the piranha is what if I it would just be my luck to get the rogue sociopath Oh, do you yeah. know what I mean that would be my problem is that all you the mean, others are you obeying. mean fish or therapist no <laughs> right. no I mean with the fish right do you know what I mean because how did they get here piranhas aren't they from South America or something they come over in a tank on a They come plane. over here. <laughs> to eat feet. Yeah. <laughs> Weird oh, ambition, this is Eating it? our feet. Yeah. Oh, dear. Honestly. In some sort of, I suppose it'd be like a sweatshop for them. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Horrible. It's like a terrible, grim, dark story of finding Nemo. A bit. <laughs> yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh, dear. That could be a good third one, though. Um, in which um, one of the fish ends up as a, a yeah, pedicure. And nibbler. he has to escape. That would be, yeah, because you could have all sorts of comedy feet involved. It's mm-hmm. genuinely a really good idea, Frank. Yeah, you could have mm-hmm. maybe a talking Veruca who befriends oh, them. Oh, nice. Yeah. Would they take on Disney a Veruca? Disney won't like that. Would they take on a Veruca? 8, 12, Pixar. 15. Yeah. <laughs> We've got Pe- any. Pedicure <laughs> fish. Take on a Veruca. You decide. <laughs> Skinner, Dean and Cochran together... The Frank Skinner Show. Absolute radio. Do you want a big moment? Uh, have we finished? Uh, I'm oh, sorry. Yeah, yeah. We, did we finish that one? It's just fish, fish feet. I know, right? Can I say, I noticed during uh, Alan's reading of that that I say... I, I say Wednesday oh. wrong. Mm-hmm. I say I've when... I've got a bad habit of when overdoing t- Wednesday. So I say at the end before the D, but you do it right. You say Um, Wednesday. Yeah, and I'm much mocked for it, I must say. (laughs) Are you? Yeah, by several different people. I I like it. It's very headmaster. And I like that. Well, but I it's got correct, that many isn't it? Masterly qualities about me. Well, I don't know about that. Where I've got. (laughs) Don't know about that. Um, would you like to hear a big moment, boys? Sure. Sorry, that sounded like a very strange <laughs> offer. Yeah, yeah. It, it was a bit like the super bra advert for <laughs> audio. <laughs> this is from David Cleaver. 
Oh, yes. he, and what I like Coincidentally, is... Coincidentally. Yeah. yeah, it's a tweet, but he's called it Friday Night Troll. It's oh, a whole thing nice. now. Ah. Big moment. The guy I work with has informed me that Les Dawson was actually a very good <laughs> piano player. <laughs> Excellent. <laughs> Come on, that's going in. Well, that's a good one. He says, the same guy that has told me three times that tomatoes are fruits. <laughs> <laughs> oh, brilliant. He sounds like a fun work colleague. I just say for new, for new readers, a big, yeah. a big moment, I won't bother telling you why it's called this, is when someone tells you something thinking there's no way in the world you'd know it and it's one of those facts that you've heard many many times mm. I know there'll be people at home who, who, who didn't know Les Dawson was in fact a really good piano player <laughs> or in fact don't know who Les Dawson is possibly but um, oh that's true but it's a good one that, and the tomatoes being yeah. a fruit is also a good one it's, it's yeah. the pip the pip um, defining thing isn't yes. it yes yeah can I say, on the subject we were talking about feeling trapped in your own facial hair, I feel a bit claustrophobic in the studio today because the, the window oh, yeah. has been... I feel like Bruno Gantz in Downfall. <laughs> <laughs> they've, they've blacked out the window of our studio. Is um, that the character's name or the actor's name? That it's the bloke who plays Hitler, I think, oh, isn't is it? it? Oh, yeah. lovely. Yeah. Um, I thought you'd done that because we were distracted and were looking. I genuinely thought that this morning. I came in this morning and saw the window had been taped up and I thought, oh, that's because um, I looked through the window the other week. Oh, yeah. Well, we were I, distracted out. We yeah. I thought Frank had done it. I should say that we, because we do a Saturday morning show, we we um, we don't see many people because it's, it, it, there's not that many people around, is there, no. on a Saturday? It's just in, security guard. In absolute mm-hmm. towers. Mm. Yeah. And, but there was a time, the, what, why I like the window being clear, is there was a period when they used to have um, people who wanted to be in radio would come and do a one-day course here. Mm. And I liked <laughs> the idea of people who wanted to be in radio looking in at us and yes. thinking, wow. Yeah. They are in right. They Let's at have us. a look at what you could have won. <laughs> yeah. I they, think they were saying, wow. They uh, were. I, nice. think, they, I think they were saying, wow. Yeah, but imagine how old we look to them. No, yeah. no, we look like gods to them. <laughs> Mm. We were in radio and they wanted to get in radio. I mean, could, was there any better? Could we be in any better position in life than when they looked in that window at us? It was a similar face to the crowds at the royal wedding, wasn't it? It was yeah. very similar to that. I looked like, at them look at like them. I look at the pedicure fish in a, in, a, <laughs> in a bowl beneath me and they looked at me like I was Achilles. And now it's gone. There's a blanket up the window. I mean, what is people keeping they'd that? They'd stop doing the tour. Anyway, no, I know, but imagine if they've started again today and they're yeah. just walking past the blanket <laughs> and they'll think, Oh, that Frank Skinner, he just you know, he's put a blanket up, doesn't want to be uh, looked at. Mm. So, so untrue, yeah. You love being looked at, yeah. I do. I mean, what's the point of doing it if you're not going to be have people thinking, Oh, I wish I was in radio? <laughs> now, people are walking past and thinking, oh, that's a Very dense blanket, <laughs> rubbish. Oh, I've got a blanket anecdote. I'll tell you later. Absolute, absolute, absolute radio. Frank Skinner on Absolute Radio. We've had some updates on the piranha um, situation. Oh yeah. The fish. This is from five four five. The fish are Gararufa fish. I don't know if that's pronounced right. Gar- rather than actual piranhas, they all went out of business due to hygiene issues. Hmm. Veruca's in the I water. I said that. And the cruelty to the fish. Veruca's in the show, water. Guys. Yeah, Veruca's in the water. I know, <laughs> I know, it's serious. Yeah. Do you think that would have still been a popular song if it had been called Veruca's in the water? Oh. Yeah. Okay, yeah, well, that's... Um, What's yeah. in a name? That which we call a rose by any other name would smell as sweet. Correct. 719, <laughs> talking of sweet, uh, 719 goes on to say well I should read that because it starts with Frank is right oh, and yes. I know you'll like that Lovely. these fish will only eat dead skin so no safe word needed oh. do you see so they stop oh. when they get to the live bit they go that's mm-hmm. weird mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. That's, that's like that's that'd day. be like eating just the <laughs> yellow parts of a pomegranate <laughs> <laughs> I wonder if anyone in the world says oh no I don't like them pips they get in the yeah. way of all that lovely that labyrinthine um, yellow yeah. squidge. Mm. 
Mm. I tell you what, we haven't mentioned this morning, by the way. The big, the big, uh, the new story in this morning's papers is um, ben- Benedict Cumberbatch, <laughs> Sherlock, <laughs> Doctor by, Strange. By Sherlock, yeah. As the sun had it, yeah. Look, can um, you hear this? Oh, is that what they've done? Sherlock. Hey, uh, and this is, I think, uh, as as Emily was saying, this is a. Uh, the Have a Go Hero. <laughs> yeah. And um Well I it, think enough of them ended badly for people to be put off being the Have a yeah, Go that's Hero. The, that's the trouble. That's, that's the it. trouble with the Have a Go Hero thing. But he Good was, for him though. Absolute Absolute, absolute Radio. Frank Skinner on Absolute Radio. So Benedict Cumberbatch, you plays yeah. um Sherlock, Sherlock uh, Doctor Strange and uh, that other um I can't remember the name of it. It's a really good thing on Sky at the moment about a Yes, a drug. Patrick Melrose. Yes. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, he's... Uh, anyway, it, he's one of his other... Actor. He's in an Uber, right? So yeah. he's looked up. <laughs> this is like a footballer <laughs> describing the goal. Right, so he's in an Uber, he's looked up. He's got loads of space. He's seen um, four blokes um, attacking a Deliveroo driver. Yeah. Well, the papers referred to them as yobs. Which is another whatever happened to. Yeah, and muggers is yeah. another whatever happened to. It's very In retro. fact, they actually said on headline that, um, that, that he foils. <laughs> oh, and foils is not, you know. Do you think they intentionally foils used form. quite Victorian language for this as well? Oh, yes, of course. They I called it the hounding of the bicycles. That oh, was good. Fair, fair that play. is good. That was good. What, the thing that worried me, we were always taught at our school, never run with a pipe in your mouth. Oh yeah, yeah. I hope, he didn't, I hope he didn't break that uh, that golden rule. But it was uh, yeah. So we should say that he he got out of his Uber, left his wife in the back seat, and whatever happened to equality? Hey, <laughs> hey. Oh, it's all right. We want this. We want that. Come on, get out the Uber then and take these four blokes on. <laughs> that's what he said. That's that's my impression yeah. about Benedict. How do you think it's coming on? It's, it's a work right. in progress. I'll, I'll tell you what he said when he got out the car. He said, leave him alone. Yeah, that, I like Probably that. Probably in exactly that tone, I suspect. Do you suspect. think so? Yeah. How do you, uh, Frank, how do you think he said And it? the wife said, can you shut the door after <laughs> you? If you're going to yeah. approach those um, hoodlums. And uh, he said, oi, leave him alone. <laughs> and um, he went over and he started... Um, he sorted them out. Yeah, I mean, respect to Mondo. Oh, yeah. A do brilliant. you believe that the drama took place near 221 B Baker Street? Because I think that well, might be we're a... all... You, you exactly. never, I mean, if you live in near. London, you're never more than six feet away from yeah. two, two, two... I mean, that like, could be Watford, couldn't it? Like, there's yeah. an international newspaper that are describing it as near. Yeah. You know, they know they've got foreign readers that are thinking... But well, well done, well near. done, Benedict Cumber. And apparently yeah. he's been, um, as a result of this, he's been awarded French citizenship. Oh, nice. Mm. Which is um, respect for him. The Frank Skinner Show. Listen live every Saturday morning from 8 on Absolute Radio. This is Frank Skinner on Absolute Radio with Emily Dean and Alan Cochran. You can text the show on 8.12.15, follow the show on Twitter at Frank on the Radio, or email the show via the Absolute Radio website. Um, I'd like to bring something to your attention, Frank, but I do so with a sense of foreboding because sometimes when we go for brunch after the show, yeah. sometimes if we start discussing recipes or eating out some something like that, you'll go, oh, <laughs> save this for your normal friends. Yeah, but I well, do, in a way, want to discuss food. <laughs> but I'd like to tie it in to topical news. Can I, on, on the food, I have a sort of a food query. Is oh, it yeah. to do with it getting stuck in beards? It's to do with the, the Benedict uh, Cumberbatch thing. The Deliveroo. Yeah, what, oh. do Deliveroo men, do they have money, do they have cash on them then? Do you pay no, them I cash? Think, I think they might have just been trying to steal his bicycle or maybe yeah. his gadgetry. Maybe it just smelled great. Maybe it smelled just great. felt good. Yeah. yeah. You know when you walk, past the, you walk past the, say you walk past the spot you like, and you oh, get that yeah. smell. I don't have those think, anymore, Frank. Oh, I don't think. I don't <laughs> think there's. <laughs> oh. I don't think there's envy for... like somebody else's chips, is there? Like Ow. when you smell oh, someone no. else's chips, there's no. Oh, Frank doesn't know that spot you like is not around anymore. <laughs> Sad news. Is that, 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 I didn't is, know that. Is that more shocking? It's gone. Than, it's counterintuitive that though, isn't it? Because you'd think that the um, the jacket potato is, is a healthier thing Apparently. than a lot of fried food, and yet spot you like has gone. 
That is a shame. Mm. If it has gone, down. has it definitely gone? Spud you like? Is there a yeah. spud you like near any of our de- readers? No, I mean, it went, they died about 20 years ago, love. Well, it what? sounds like there's a gap in the market. If both me and Frank think that it's a good business idea, I reckon... Tattoo removal and spud you like too. Uh, yeah, it's great because people, they're, they're people the business love... Ideas. Um, what I find people love these days is carbs. <laughs> Very <not>. big carbs. <laughs> carbs are massive. But that so doesn't big. stop k- kebab shops and... <laughs> yeah, which is meat-based protein, not carbs. <laughs> what? Spot you like is based around carbs. Yeah. Yes. Kebabs is based around protein. Well, yeah. it's which got is meat. bread. It's got bread around it. Yeah, but there's still protein available. Thank you. Hmm. Your witness. Well, Kim Jong-un is unlikely to give up his nuclear weapons, but he may be amenable to Spod, open a Spod, burger. Spod you like sounds like one of his cabinet ministers. <laughs> <laughs> he may be amenable to opening a burger joint as a gesture of goodwill towards the USA. Yeah. What does that, I, don't, I don't quite understand what that means. Well, so look, we're keeping joint. the nuclear weapons, but I tell you what, you what say a... we open a, uh, a Dooley's Pantry and on Yang. Yeah. Good. Yeah. It's a good... It, well, it's him... Well... Is it a cultural gesture? I think so. And it's also that Donald Trump apparently has uh, said in the past, oh, if, if me and Kim Jong-un eat, we're not going to go to one of these, like, long Chinese state dinners. We're yeah. going to have hamburgers at the conference table. That's what he said. Oh, it's good to plan ahead. That doesn't there. sound yeah. depressing, does I must it? Have hamburgers it. on a conference I have, now table. Now I come to think, I haven't given any thought whatsoever to if me and Kim and John <laughs> you know, ate. Well, they would. are in the process of planning it. But, but I you think know, it's... I've been in many posh restaurants and thought, you know what, I'd rather be in, uh, well, spot you like. Yeah. For example. <laughs> you know, there's such you a, like today. It, but when we can arrange time travel. There's such a faff posh restaurants, yeah. whereas... Things like Wagamama, they just the stuff comes stuff quick. And, oh, do you know what? This is his, uh, Man of the People material. No, yeah. it's really. No, you do, but I know what you mean, but I mean, come on. Well, also, I, I think Donald Trump is being effective there. I think he's saying, look, there's a lot of history between the two countries. We need to deal with that. What, North Korea and, uh, and America? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I mean, Hold on a minute, though. I bet most Americans didn't know there was a North Korea until the 50s. Hmm. Can I just say, <laughs> I don't think yes. this is such a gesture of goodwill. Yeah. Because he's got previous with burgers. That whole family, that whole household the have. No. Oh, the, the Kim, Kim the, Jong-uns. Yeah. They, his uh, father. Kim Jong-il. Yes. Yeah. yeah. He invented the hamburger. He did. That's what um, they believe. He apparently. was known as uh, Burger Kim. <laughs> Kimpy, that was that another one of his. Very good. <laughs> yes, um, this is the we, theory. Yeah. I don't know if this is an official. This is what Kim Jong Un and I believe the North Korean people believe that Kim Jong Il, his dad, invented mm-hmm. um, the burger, but he called it not the burger. Do you know what he called it? Boys? I believe he called it double bread with meat, <laughs> which, which is, is the austerity <laughs> version of the Big Mac. <laughs> Oh, no, I don't want double meat. I want more bread, please. I've got some great yeah. news. 412 has just texted. Frank is right. Never doubt him. Spud, you like still going. Come on! <laughs> what a morning I've had! <laughs> fantastic. Two big ticks for me. That's fantastic news. What was the first news. one? What was the first, was the first one? one? What was the reason they stopped the pedicure oh, fish? Oh, uh, yeah. yeah. Oh, you've forgotten you that. It's strange that you've erased that from your memory. Like, Dead skin. <laughs> mm. the, the most amazing thing about this story is I assume that they did have, you know, McDonald's and type well, things. in North Korea. Listen, I've got Are you... Are you telling me that Kim Jong-un got that size without fast food? <laughs> it was Stilton. He loves cheese. Oh, yeah. Oh, no. He gets burgers. This is the word on the street. Oh, yeah. He gets burgers flown over from McDonald's in Beijing. Wow, yeah. Oriental Elvis. <laughs> I'm loving Air it. Deliveroo. <laughs> loving it. Elveroo. What a guy. <laughs> oh, man. Uh, well, it's, it's, it's a fabulous tale, and we'll continue to um, uh, forensically examine it yeah. after this. Absolute Radio. Absolute 
Radio. Frank, do you remember I said earlier, I suggested that, um, I think I may have even laughed at you, uh, when you suggested that Spud You Like was still in existence mm-hmm. as a chain? Mm-hmm. Um... I think I may have got it a little bit wrong. Yeah. Paul has been in touch. Hello, I've enjoyed a spud you like in Glasgow, <laughs> Bristol and Dundee fairly Everyone's recently. Everyone's talking about <laughs> carbohydrates, talk about. <laughs> <laughs> there are ones popping up in Basildon, Fab. in Lakeside. Wait, one in Lakeside? Yeah. Lovely. I mean, right now what I feel, fancy one I feel very humiliated. I well, think I'm, there are a lot. I, I've got a memory of there being one in a shop in Central Edinburgh as well. Oh, why didn't no, you speak up? You've because I assumed that it was. I assumed that it had gone under and that I'd missed the news story. Okay. You know, I've had a holiday. <laughs> well, I nearly closed Clinton's cards. Oh yeah. Or did I close them? I suggested yeah, they'd well, gone under. So I'd like well, to say, apologise. I think Hillary found out, <laughs> didn't she, about them? Oh yeah. Yeah. I'd like to apologise to Spud. You like. Yes, um, and I, can I say I'm very happy that they still exist. Well, 245 has said there's an independent jacket potato selling stall in Redhill Market on a Thursday. Never a queue, though. There always is for the chicken tikka wraps. A little uh, snapshot into the uh, yeah, like food preferences oh. of the Redhill I Market. I hope it's got a bit of a um, punning title. The chicken tikka wraps place. No, the other one, then the other. All right. Spod you like. Although I like Spod you like, I don't. I think they could have done better with the name. It was from the days of Toys R Us and all that. Yeah, yes. It was very fashionable. That sort of Mm -hmm. thing. Oh, lingo. I nearly said. Yeah. That's very whatever happened to Spod you like exists. Mm. Hi, Frank. (laughs) Frank. Be a good headline. (laughs) (laughs) Frank is right again. Twice oh. in one day. Oh, my goodness. He said it. There is a spud you like at my local retail outlet centre. This, this is great news. Well, they okay. should get in touch with the North Korean government and see if they can get in quick. Yeah. Would you even call it fast food? Oh, if it's that planned. No, I'm on about uh, spud you like. Oh. It doesn't seem oh, it takes a fatty while. and fried enough to be fast food. Yeah. I think it just needs to be ready when you go up and order it, doesn't it? I tell you what, what I bought this week. I tell you what I bought this week. Apparently he doesn't have the both bits of bread now, Donald no. Trump. Oh yeah, he, that's his diet. He has... Uh, yeah. he, he takes one he of the... takes one of the top bits of the bun or the bottom bit. He only has half of the bread bun now. Yeah, oh, okay. that's why his skin May, looks so May nice. Giuliani said it in the, in the public domain. I imagine he puts the, a top on it, which is a different colour from the bottom <laughs> bit. <laughs> um, so you know it's Kim a sort of a McDonald <laughs> Trump. Uh, but big, Do you know but Kim Jong Un cuts his own hair? He never does. He does because he's well. He uh, does himself a of very. He does a very good fade. Scared, scared of barbers. He fears barbers. Oh, yeah. He might be like me. He just finds the small talk crippling. Always worried about. No, apparently, maybe. he loves small talk. Yeah, <laughs> it's one of his things. I, but he's had that thing. You know, I told you that when I had my hair washed in a barber's, I leaned my head back, mm. um, and uh, it suddenly occurred to me if they chopped me in the Adam's apple, I might choke to death. Oh, yeah. And once you've had that thought, you just can't ever do it again. You just right. can't relax in it. Maybe he's had that. Although I think you could probably chop him in the neck and not reach the Adam's <laughs> apple. <laughs> God bless him. He, <laughs> cer- he certainly needs a Big Mac. <laughs> Such a simple and yet beautiful joke. <laughs> absolute, absolute, absolute radio. Frank Skinner on Absolute Radio. One of the things that I um, read about the, the Kim Jong Un yep. bur- burger um, thing is that. When they had the uh, double bread with meat oh, yeah. that his dad invented, mm-hmm. mm. supposedly, they um, they used to eat it with plastic gloves on. Yes, I've yeah. seen those. And I thought that's... Like, like the ones at petrol stations. Yeah, bit. I suppose so. It's a yeah. great idea. I think it's a... Br- I thought... Mm-hmm. I've always struggled a bit, to be honest, with cutlery. <laughs> oh, yeah, I noticed it's that. Just, yeah. no, but it's, a di- it's, a, it's such a difficult... Why do you find it a bit Benedict Cumberbatch? I do, yeah. Mm. There's so many things, like salad with a knife and fork. Oh, I ate a salad with my hands yesterday. It's so easy, isn't it? Yeah, much. I always eat salad with my hands. Yeah. No, how we eat salad... In boxer shorts on a hotel bed, (laughs) no? 
<laughs> well, never scene. mind how you have it served. <laughs> <laughs> I quite like that. <laughs> yeah, I like That's that. Um, I uh, go, I'm afraid for the American corruption when it comes to the salad, which is to use my fork in the right hand to switch hands oh. and just rely on the fork. Yeah. I think it makes me look but like I'm an agent up, doing pick, a big deal. I look important. But picking mm-hmm. up lettuce with a fork, it's not. you have to go for the spine. Yeah, I stab to it. To get yeah. any yeah. sort of purchase at mm. all. You're right. Um, but I always eat it with my hands. I like. I eat most stuff with my hands. Uh, and I like. I like food that naturally comes with a handle. All oh, right. You know, like okay. a chicken leg or mm. a, a lamb, chop, lamb, lamb chop, chop. toucan. Yeah. Yeah. A toucan. <laughs> roasted toucan. It's a roasted toucan, absolutely perfect. We have a few of them on a, on a spit, don't we, at the start of the show, and you oh. just nibble on them throughout. It, it's, oh, man, it's so easy. That the, it's why and, he often and, puts a and, long song on. And also, if I'm eating toucan and you get a bit of an itchy back. Oh. Give it a little. Oh, lovely. It's got the, I'll tell you what, this week, yeah. I, I, buy, I tend to buy my chicken already cooked. Oh, you know, I, I like to eliminate the middle man. That's a shame. Mm. Yeah, why is that a shame? Because you're not doing the cooking. It's a nice thing to do sometimes. No, I hate it. All right, fair <laughs> enough. It was good we're all different. Um, Lo- lovely little exchange. <laughs> <laughs> I think, well, why, why cook it when you can buy it cooked? That seems more you know. packaging, the pleasure of cooking your own food, that yeah, sort but of I, stuff. No, yeah. I'm with Frank. I like a cooked, uh, cooked okay. chicken. Well, as I say, it's good we're all different. Mm. As my dad used to say, I don't keep dogs to bark myself. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Right? I mean, I won't give you the context in which he said it. It'd be things oh, like when my oh, okay. mum said, make your own tea. <laughs> right. You will give us the context. <laughs> when I did in the end, I gave you the context. It was historical. Yeah. But I, so I, I, used it, I used to buy a whole cooked chicken and then I went for chicken breasts and then I went uh-huh. for chicken legs. And then this week, they had chicken thighs. Oh, yeah. yeah. That's, a, that's a peculiar concept isn't it mm. what do you, in what sense well I just thought wh- why single out that they don't have chicken calves I looked I looked oh, for well, chicken less meat calf. on them dear. is there anything is there such a thing as a chicken calf it's probably I don't think do chickens, chickens have dishes. do chickens have calves yeah like 12, 15. Mm. I don't think they have it seems to be just bone and then the thigh thing huh? I mean thighs pushing it but if it's if they don't have calves, then a chicken thigh mm. is a chicken leg, surely. Yeah. yeah okay. I'll, I'm going to let you have that. Anyway, they've 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 sort of they've cut through the bone on them. That's the weirdest mm. slice of chicken. Oh, I won't be getting those again. Will you? Oh no, no. That's that's their, their history. They're dead to me, chicken I thighs. I like the way you said it, like, you won't be getting my business again, no, thighs. No, you're keeping us updated. Stupid this. chicken. If they bring out a chicken calf, I'll be straight in there. Just Lovely, like, no, they sell wings. How much meat they is do. on a chicken wing? Not so much. You don't get a you don't get chicken calf. Chicken Kiev, that's the closest you that's get. Very chicken close. Kiev. <laughs> chicken Kiev. <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah. Accented calf. That's it. I like a chicken Kiev as well. Mm-hmm. Especially. Oh, whatever happened to? <laughs> are, they, are they gone? <laughs> they haven't gone. Yeah. They're no, still I'm, alive. Listen, what well. Kiev you like? <laughs> we need to talk about chicken Kiev. That popular movie. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I love. Sometimes when it, it was really hot, much hotter than you expected. Oh, the the yeah. inner cream. Very. <sighs> you don't see like them as pop much tart. anymore, though. I mean, it is a bit. It was like a savoury pop tart. It was a savoury pop tart. But how oh, you wouldn't go into a restaurant? I'll have the chicken. I'll have the chicken Kiev and the Black Forest Gatto. Oh, I'd like, like to a great go, night. Mm-hmm. I'd like to go into a posh restaurant so I'd like a chicken Kiev with two straws, <laughs> please, <laughs> and then put them into the inner corn, drink that before you eat the oh, meat around it. Burn wow. from the inside. <laughs> That'd be, I tell you what I did the other day in a, in a, in a bit of improv. I used a... Um, I was away, so I didn't have all my normal tools. I used to say... <laughs> Why didn't you call one of your friends in the S&M community? <laughs> there might have been one local. <laughs> Frank's power tools. <laughs> I used for eating dinner. I used an avocado as an egg cup. Did it's you? Absolutely perfect indentation in the middle. Good show. Frank, that's it, a great idea. Yeah, and it looks quite good as well. It looks mm-hmm. a bit like um, it could have been a, a car in Captain Scarlet. Yeah. <laughs> Not much... Um, uh, sort of structural integrity, though, for the base. Oh, it was, I'll be honest with you, it's a little bit underripe. Oh, oh, okay. oh that's, that's oh, the perfect. secret. I think it ripe. By the time I let the egg, it had ripened. I mean, perfect. timing <laughs> in this <laughs> business is everything. <laughs> 
listening to Frank Skinner's podcast from Absolute Radio. Uh, Eve Barrett, aged 11, has just texted, My dad is driving, but he thinks a chicken drumstick is a chicken's calf and the thigh would be the upper leg. Um, so, the when you get a drumstick, that's the calf, is it? That bit of yeah. meat on the end. Yeah. Can I just say to Eve Barrett, aged 11, that um, that's a great text and you haven't misspelled anything. It's all really good. Um, and we have adults regularly make mistakes so strong yeah. work Eve some in this studio yeah <laughs> you know I think most 11 year olds can spell can't they well yeah oh, but, um, there we go how come, how <laughs> come so. minimise it how come we make, we get many 41 year olds that can't then why uh, that right, well eh? that's drink <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, yeah, I I, t- I was picturing a drumstick as a chicken's leg, if you know what I mean. Oh. Like the entire leg. I suppose yeah. I was I was I was imagining the chicken in um, pantaloons. I know what you mean. So I think it, I was. Yeah. A, um, yeah. So was... that it, it was, um, it, it hadn't, you know, you could imagine like uh, you know Toreador pants. So the <laughs> lower part was the calf, and there's no meat yeah. on it. I got mixed up. I was similarly up, as as that. inclined, and yeah, I just felt they were a little bit short legged. Anyway, I don't mm. like the size. I thought it was a bit Scott Parker legs, and oh, yeah. I have similar ones. Oh. Um, but they're lovely. Uh, what, your legs are lovely? You're saying that yeah. officially on radio? Yeah. Yeah. Well, I've never heard such vanity in all You've my life. You've got nice legs as well. Well, thank you. I okay. Think, I think actually Donald Trump has a grand plan. He's got great him. legs, by the he way. He has, mm. yeah. Great legs, the best legs. Yeah. Okay. Uh, I think he's got a grand plan to have um, to have this meeting with Kim Jong Un, and it seemed friendly. And then he's going to go, oh yeah, we're going to have burgers at the conference table, but I got special burgers that are yeah. a bit better than usual ones. And then he's going to bring in some of those gourmet burgers, you know, the sort of big oh, yeah. towery ones. Kim Jong Un won't know that there's a wooden stick in it, and he'll choke to death. <gasps> whilst Trump just laughs and maniacally licks his fingers of sauce and salt. I had a near miss with a, with a roll mop herring recently. <laughs> on, on that, that very basic. Oh yeah, I nearly the jeopardy. Got, I nearly got a steak for the roof of the roof of the mouth. Oh, did you? It's better that than sideways, though, and then it'd still be there now. <laughs> Better here than Philadelphia. Is it? I um, so that, that's what. Um, isn't that, that what, what um, WC Fields had on his tombstone? Right. Is that right? I think so. When he wanted it, I tell you what I did. I was, this is an error I think in the on the eating out front mm. is that I had a I had a chop, like one of these big. I can't remember what county. You know, they're often got a, the big ones. Have got a county. Oh yes, oh, yeah. 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 So it was like Lancashire a Derbyshire chop. chop. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Not Dar- I'm thinking of Derbyshire neck, which was another name for a goiter. Oh, was it? A massive neck tumour. That's nice. Yeah, anyway. Um, <laughs> breakfast radio here at Absolute. Uh, and I had this chop. It was fantastic. Abs- it was just like one of the great chops. It was a big chop as well. One of the greats. <laughs> yeah, yeah, one of the greats. I've never chop, a- chop described like this chop one of the, the greats. Chop of the week. It was a really brilliant chop. And <laughs> I loved it. <laughs> Good. It's great. It had the handle. The fat was done to a crispiness. Oh, it was Perfect. great. Yeah, lovely. And it was a big, okay, big mama of a of a of a chop. Of a chop. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Did you have anything with? I just want to envisage this all. So you had the chop. Anything else on the plate? Oh yeah, yeah. I had Bread a few. and butter. I had some. Had some green vegetables. Good and things. Okay. Yeah. Uh, they, they, me, they don't it. warrant any specifics. They were, they were fine. Just they were fine. Okay. Okay, okay. Apparently the, the company greens ever. help the protein go to where it should. So Is you need right? to eat your I greens. No, I eat my greens. But, you know, the greens you don't get excited they about. As, no, they're not as The fun. chop was the Cheryl and you know, the rest of were like the girls allowed, the vegetables, yeah, yeah. the rest yeah, of them. Exactly. Yeah, like, yeah. Like Barnsley the, chop, maybe. Yeah. Like the, yeah. I don't think it was Barnsley, no. I might have remembered that. Someone's saying top of the chops. <laughs> I, look, I've, had a, I've had a Barnsley chop, but yeah, like the pretty, prettier girls at yeah. school would hang around with yeah, a yeah, plain yeah, and exactly. mate, so <laughs> yeah. they looked even better. Yeah, yeah. Well, the chop looked great, and then I went back <laughs> to strange, the strange love rival for cat <laughs> the chop. So a couple of nights later, I went back to the same restaurant, oh. and I made that classic mistake. I tried to relive oh. Oh. No. the chop. It's like you know the, anything in life. Never go back. You, like when you, no. you can have a party with the same, a brilliant party, invite the same people the following week, and it just doesn't happen. Yeah, diminishing returns, my friend. Yeah, and it was, mm-hmm. a, it was, an, it, it was a, fi- it was fine. 
It was fine, but uh, and in a way, it retrospectively diminished the original chop experience. Oh, that's a shame. You killed oh, off experience oh, number one. Why didn't I just <laughs> leave it there, chop one? Yeah. I've asked myself that a hundred times <laughs> since. <laughs> You've been back a hundred times? <laughs> no, just go. lying in bed thinking about Lost it. Lost chops. <laughs> thinking yeah. about it. Trying to remember what the first chop felt like before it was... Uh, oh, right, yeah. Imagine yeah. going to bed thinking of that. Oh, yeah. no, I, I, I don't it's need just... to. I, I often go to bed thinking of meat food that I've eaten What about when uh, Gary Barlow used to wake up when he wasn't allowed carbs or chocolates, when he had to lose weight for take that, and he woke up and he was licking the pillow because he dreamt it was a Twix? <laughs> <laughs> That's a bit like the old, I dreamt I was eating a giant marshmallow. That's like, when I woke up, the pillow had gone. I love that joke. <laughs> Oh, this wasn't man. a joke. This was this man's life. Oh, well, that Gary Barlow's pillow be covered in gel. <laughs> <laughs> Yuck. Absolute, absolute, absolute radio. Frank Skinner on Absolute Radio. Uh, do you remember the square burgers of yesteryear? No. My mum used to buy packets of square um Hamburgers, beef burgers, whatever you... I suppose it would be a, a beef burger, because a hamburger mm. is a, has to be yeah. round, I think. Does it? Did she really? I've, I've not I've no. come across those. No. But we used to have them on round... Um, oh, actually, we might have just had them on sliced bread. Maybe that's why they work so well. Mm-hmm. Mm. If you put them on a circular bun, obviously the corners stick out. Yeah. It looks yeah. a bit like... You remember when the sun comes out in uh, Teletubbies with a child's face? <laughs> yeah. Yes. But instead of the child's face, it's just like a, a, a bon roof. Yeah. You know the bon roof? Yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> You're looking at me like I've made this up. <laughs> no, I think we know the bon roof. That's, I think that might we be let, the part that Donald Trump removes. Just, yeah, now. this is your lying hour, and we let it go. No, you? no. <laughs> but when, when you think about the cheeseburger, yeah. Yeah. that's... And I do. That's square, isn't it? The cheese. Oh, the cheese, yeah. So you get a square on a if circle. If they reintroduced the square burger, that would support the um, the drooping corners, the now, the now drooping corners of the uh, the cheese square. Indeed. Yeah. Come on, guys. Okay. And no, of course, we, we our we Scottish understand. fan base will be thinking that they've got flat sausage that's exactly... Oh, they've got the square sausage, yeah. Lawn sausage. Which are great for uh, posting. Of course. Very <laughs> useful, yeah. That's the I brilliant get it delivered, thing about it. You're right. You yeah. get it delivered. I do post. Do you get it yeah. sent over from Beijing? Yeah. <laughs> Isn't it great that he it's does a lovely, that? I love him for that. What's brilliant you love him. about it is that the, the ketchup. Gotta love him. The ketchup sits on the square. You know how it yeah. um, slides off a sausage. Yeah. Yes. Sits on the square one. Yeah. That's my view. So then, so they're in negotiation anyway to sum up this story. And yeah. And they're going to have America, a burger together. America said, will you get rid of nuclear weapons? And Kim Jong-un said, no, but I'll tell you what, we'll get one burger place <laughs> yeah. in Pyongyang. I'm not even sure it is as thorough as that. I think uh, an American document has been a leaked CIA document. saying, we don't think that they'll give up their nuclear weapons, okay. but they might have a burger with us. Oh. We have evidence to suggest that this will happen. Because yeah. Yeah. financially, getting if they if they had a McDonald's, say, that yeah. could be the beginning of... That, that would probably bring down, I think, North Korean the North Korean <laughs> brand of communism. Yeah. One McDonald's yeah. Yeah. would just give people a little glance, a glimpse of how tasty yeah. capitalism really can be. Yeah. Assuming and that they can afford to go there, of course. I mean, I'd like to in the negotiation. I'd like to <laughs> Kim Jong-un saying, uh, look, I draw the line at dill pickle. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I love about Kim is that um, he has some self-style sort of style titles very Paul Ince, the governor. Yeah. Yes. And two of my favourites of his self-styled are the brilliant comrade. Is that what he calls himself? Yeah. Brilliant. And the other one is uh, the genius among others. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, oh, that's a good one. The genius one. among others. I've got a new name, everyone, today. The thing genius is, the, ge- among the genius among <laughs> others has got an, a hint of big fish in a little pool about it, I think. <laughs> yeah. What? Yes, he, ha- he felt he needed to add the caveat among others. Yeah, so here, uh, <laughs> genius in North Korea is what he's basically yeah, saying, yeah. where I won't let anyone else get educated. Yeah. Mm. Can he's I say a, he's a big fish in a small foot bath? That's what he is. He oh, is. Yeah, that's great. Oh, thank thank you yes, very much. and Love he's um, he's nibbling at the dead skin of capitalist fast food mania. 
Turns Why out it's not? quite fattening. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, I think it is. Yeah, he's got. He must have got through a few feet <laughs> in his time. I won't get him a Swiss ball. I had. Um, I had a card from Chris Hunter. Did you? Oh, um, oh how is he? He's all right, actually. Great. Who is Whether he? Whether he's found any Chris's. <laughs> I don't know. How is he? Who is he? He well, he just sent me a postcard because he was in uh, St Lawrence's Church in uh, Ledbury in Shropshire, mm-hmm. and it is the resting place of A. E. Houseman. Oh. Now, uh, long term, uh, long term readers may know that that was. Um, I introduced an alarm for whenever um, A. E. Houseman was mentioned on the show. Yeah, Natch. Um, it's only got, it only happens the first time, so you can say it again. Yeah, after. but we haven't we haven't hit the old uh, A. E. H. Oh, alarm for a long, long time. time for a while. I, Lovely I, I hearing enjoyed that. It. Still sounds good. So I sort of assumed he'd been Westminster Abbey. He's in Ledbury, which I think was the first holiday I ever had. To it was Ledbury. a weekend in Ledbury. Yeah, yeah, it rocked. But thanks for that, Chris. Um, I don't have any, you know, there's no further bit. That's okay. It. His house is for sale, though, if anyone's interested. A. Uh, Chris Hunter's? No, A. E. Houseman's. Oh, is it? Yeah. I, said, I don't think we should be plugging that. People, <laughs> people should just send in. A, we're not Zoopla. We've also answered an email that we had about whatever happened to the A.E. Houseman alarm. It's back. It's oh, back in its way. Really? Yeah. Oh, there That's you cool. go. Um, A.E. Houseman's house is for sale. Yeah, blue plaque. Is it called the A.E. House? <laughs> well, <it should> be. <laughs> How much is it? I don't know. I'll have to I look love the right it. Move. Oh, it's quite last time near, this happened, it's quite it was near about me. It's up the road. We'll that, have a chat. It's, it's about a right George Formby. I'll be in London. I'll be expensive then, won't it? I thought if it's in Shropshire. I'll put some in if you want. Oh, oh okay. He's like those I'll, people I'll that go to Wembley and it. say the Coca-Cola was so expensive. <laughs> <laughs> I thought if it's in Shropshire, I'd nip down the road for a spot you like. <laughs> well, I'll be able to do that in Highgate. Absolute, absolute, absolute radio. Frank Skinner on Absolute Radio. Um, We've got a massive correction. Hold on, hold on. I've got a dummy. I've got a dummy housekeeping. Sorry, love. Um, This is uh, Frank Skinner on Absolute Radio with Emily Dean and Alan Cochran. You can text the show on 812.15. Follow the show on Twitter at... That's that Cumberland sausage thing. Mm -hmm. At Frank on the radio. And email the show via the Absolute Radio website. Yeah. Hold on. Let me go for uh, the correction. The... uh, Correctione, correctione, ole, ole, ole. Okay. Yeah. Yes. You so were, you were on we a were good talk- run today, Frank. You were on I a was. good run. Yeah. And then what were we talking about, Al? We uh, were talking a. E. about A. E. Houseman and okay. where he was buried. Hi, Frank. Ledbury is in Herefordshire. That's Dale from Shropshire. Uh, uh, he used to live in Herefordshire, so I believe you thought it was in Shropshire. Is mm-hmm. that correct? Uh, can I tell you where my... I accept that was an error. 342 is... Uh, can I just let you know, Ledbury's in Herefordshire, not Shropshire. Sorry, yeah, guys. Yeah, Chris from Hereford, FYI, as well. <laughs> um, okay. There's even a statue of Houseman in Bromsgrove High Street. That's someone does try and. Oh, Bromsgrove's in Worcestershire. Isn't You're getting it? yourself into all sorts of Cumberland yeah. sausage pickles. Someone else said, I think he was buried in Ludlow, which is Shropshire. So there's, you know, there's reasons. No, we're just saying that uh, there's been a lot of interest in this. Oh yeah. Well, uh, can I say that? I mean, it, they this, love it when you're wrong. <laughs> this postcard, this postcard on the bottom says Shropshire, and then has four scenes from Shropshire. On it. Oh, yeah. Little Stretton, Stokeside, Cloyne Castle, Much Wenlock, Care, Caradoc. Oh, so you can see how I was mizzled. Yeah. I was yeah. completely mizzled, but I was wrong yeah. and I hold up my hand a la basketball. Mia Culpa, yeah? <laughs> yeah. Mia Culpa, what happened to her? <laughs> she was okay. good that fun. Woody Allen, he messed. Oh, no. Did he? No, that wasn't her. That was Mia so Farrow. <laughs> Who was Pia Zadora? Do you remember her? Yes. Don't know. I do Elfin. remember her. She was Elfin. She was tiny. She was married to a, a very wealthy businessman and she used to put was on, she? who sort of paid for her acting and singing career. Well, that oh. sounds nice. He would do that things like lucky. hire out the Albert Hall and she'd perform to four people and things. No, I think she was a film star though, wasn't she? Pia Zadora. Yeah. <laughs> no, I think, I, think, I think there was a moment where she was uh, like a quite what they used to call a a, a sex symbol. 
<laughs> can't have so that simple. anymore. No, That's it, gone. Yeah. It's all gone. We've also you had. Still s- can. can you still have beer? What about Dark? He's one. I know, but he's a bloke. Oh, is that allowed? Oh, oh yeah, you can have them. Oh, okay. It's all right when they say it. Oh, <laughs> be quiet. Um, That's what. Um, <laughs> be quiet. That's my it's new a radio one for show. him. <laughs> That's my new one for him. He has to be told sometimes. Oh, really? I said with love. A, there was a woman saying this in the paper this week. Yeah. True. Lovely. There's a spud you like of the White Rose in Leeds. I'm going. And there's a spud you like in Livingston <laughs> Shopping Centre outside to, Edinburgh. You could go to the Test Match today at Headingley and yeah. then you go to the spud you like at the White Rose Centre in Leeds. Yeah. A spud you like in Ilford, Essex. All the hot spots have got a spud you like. Right. Turns out. And just uh, my final thoughts on this uh, food based section of the show. <laughs> 491. You remember you were talking earlier and you were saying that. Your mum used to make square burgers. I think mm-hmm. she bought them. I don't think she well, made them. Well, hi, Frank. Square burgers, 491 says, were actually bird's eye steaklets as oh, opposed to the beef burgers. you know what? You're which right. were around before the American hamburgers in buns caught on big time yeah. with the event, advent of Mackey D's. You're absolutely right. Steaklets. They, they were steaklets. <laughs> Of course. Oh, I love a steaklet. I miss um, a steaklet. Mm. I, I nearly use a steaklet if I'm <clears throat> punishing Dracula without wishing to actually kill him. <laughs> just, I'll use a very small steaklet. Just impede him a bit. <clears throat> yeah, just as a warning. <laughs> yeah. This far and no further. Give him a bit of a reducer. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> A bit of a countdown. Oh, very oh. good. <laughs> Respect. <laughs> You're listening to Frank Skinner's podcast from Absolute Radio. You might be thrilled to learn this is news from uh, 007. 007. He says, Hi, Frank and guys. A place called Jake's in Essex has on its signage the home of the Square Burger. Uh, Jake's is uh, another name for a toilet, isn't it? Is it? Yeah. <laughs> did not know that. Yeah. <clears throat> That's a worry. Why? I just didn't know that. No, not that you didn't know it. Oh, that right. It, <laughs> that a toilet could be the arm of the square burger. <laughs> right. <laughs> so paranoid. No, I was just thinking, should I be more worried about that than I am? Oh, there's that moment. Since you've been on the mat regularly, you've got very... <laughs> Do you very think so? Oh, very incendiary. <laughs> I got, could go up at any minute. So. I haven't. Is he got a bit more alpha since the mat I think, work? I think two weeks ago when I was here, I went off on one when you started slagging off walks. That was the, that was oh, the no, last that, time. I said I, that was very triggering for was, you, the walks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nice walk if you can get it, I think, was <laughs> your last line. <laughs> <laughs> so I, I saw a story that I want to talk about. Which I was saw to do with... a mouse. <laughs> what? Where? Where? Everybody. There on, on the stair. stair. Where on the stair? Right, right there. there. What a conversation a that was. Where on the stair? Good there. Job. There. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Okay. How is he going? He's going clip clippity clop on the stairs. Oh, he had heels on. He had clogs on. Oh, did he? Okay. Oh. Uh, I want to talk about the zombie alert. Because, <clears throat> I mean, I don't... Can we just say, by the way, that there isn't. What? In case you thought <laughs> oh, that, we're not back referring to the news, it's not some War of the Worlds moment. I hadn't yeah. even anticipated that hazard that people yeah, we might should think say it's a zombie. Alert. This happened in Florida recently, in Lake Worth, mm-hmm. uh, and uh, they'd sent the city administrators had sent out a warning about a power outage. But that's next, a power cut, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. Sorry, that's what they call it. That's an yeah. Americanism. But they'd warned them about that. I thought they meant they'd exposed a lot of uh, people <laughs> were gay in the in the government. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and in addition, obviously, to th- it wouldn't be exposed. You know what I mean? Well, we know what you mean. Oh. But what was weird what is the text secret? that went out said warning a power outage and extreme zombie activity. Hmm. I think it was the extreme that frightened people. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> But I like the fact also that they sort of thought that would get second billing as on the extreme zombie activity. But I don't understand. What, 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 how did that happen? Why was there a zombie warning on an official... We should say there was no zombie warning. No. And they sent out a correction only afterwards. I, th- I mean, I assumed they'd been a prankster, um, a but sort this... of Simpsons socks wearer, had, yeah, had right. got hold of, you know... Got hold of the controls. Exactly. Yeah. But don't think they ever 
they ma- I, I've never seen, and I've been keeping an eye out, mm. the actual... They've never actually come clean and say how it happened. No. No. I reckon it, it is a prankster. Do you think, think it would right actually scare it. some people? Oh, yeah, there are definitely people that are into the idea of a zombie being really a thing. If I were a zombie... They don't frighten me. If I were a zombie... All day long, I'd... <laughs> it's the original draft, I believe. Yeah, exactly. Um, if I was a zombie, I would say to the other zombies, look, when we launch the attack, let's go April 1st. Oh, yeah. yeah. Because all warnings would be completely ignored. Alien attack yeah, as well. If them. I was yeah. an alien, it's April the 1st. Do your research. Yeah. Yeah. People would just, they wouldn't even lock their doors. You could just walk in. If I was a zombie, I wouldn't rip my clothes and put blue on my lips. I would no. actually try and appear normal. And also, what are All they right. well, buried I'm struggling in? with that and I'm not a zombie. But, <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. They seem to be buried in cagoules and stuff like that. I mean, the zombies. Yeah, yeah, the yeah zombies. it's like they've dressed from a thrift store, yeah, isn't it? They're, they're, Why they're, do they walk so slowly? They, they bury, Hurry up. They bury people in bomber jackets. <laughs> You'd think mm-hmm. it'd be at least smart casual <laughs> yeah. in the grave. But they, they all look like they've been... They look like, you know, hooded youths. Well, this is your point, Frank, about the, the, the clothes that the ghosts wear, oh, essentially. Well, wrong I imagine the ghosts... Look on, look down on the zombies. It's a bit, a bit lazy. Yeah. A bit, you know, come as you are. <laughs> I mean, yeah, they're they're work in progress. That's how the ghosts see them. Yeah, they're like territorial army versus the real army. Or exactly. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, can, can they walk through walls? Can they buffalo? <laughs> absolute, absolute, absolute radio. Frank Skinner on Absolute Radio. Oh, We're well. talking about zombies on Absolute Radio. Yeah, of course. Are you, um, uh, uh, either of you guys watch zombie movies? No, oh, I, don't. I can't say I do. Of course not. I watched oh, one. That's um, a surprise. It was, oh, I can't, it was, it was not Day of the Dead, it was something, one of those. And there was a lot of, there was a lot of um, people eating, I can't go into detail, but it was very, very... Um, They're very hungry, so they have a lot of hanger, the zombies. Starving. Uh-huh. And I went to the toilet mid... He's in the cinema. I went to the toilet halfway through. I remember the cubicle door wasn't locked, but it was just slightly ajar, and I kicked it open to make sure there was... <laughs> oh. No, so basically, no zombies in there, is what I thought. That's the state it got me to. I was terrified. Thank- thankfully, no one in there that you smashed the door well, into. Well, they locked the door. Oh, they should have, yeah. It could have been Jerry Halliwell, apparently, who never locks the toilet Is that door. right? Do you not like Good zombies because they frighten you? Or just... I don't like ho- horror films. For all the sci-fi and stuff I love, horror films properly frighten... I got back, I remember, from watching Silence of the Lambs, mm-hmm. and I had to park my car about 100 yards from my house. Couldn't <clears> park right next. And that's one of the scariest walks of my life. Oh, really? Mm. <sighs> Yes. I know what you're thinking, but I don't care. And then when you got in, did you eat liver and uh, Chianti beans? Uh, no. Chianti, fava beans. I don't know what Chianti beans No, I'll tell you what he had. He had, a steak, he had a steaklet. Oh, that's what he likes. Oh, that a square lovely. steaklet. I wish. <laughs> he enjoys oh, that. Also, the only, I've seen about three zombie films, is what I'm saying, and every one of them, there was a compound... Oh, right. Yeah, they love yeah, a yeah. compound of zombies. Are they stand, build yeah. space? If there's a zombie <laughs> alert, do those go up quickly, though? Are they like flat pack compounds? Or do, do most American towns have a compound? They always Good have question. the barbed wire surrounding yeah. them as well. Well, they have quite are very mm-hmm. high fences. Yeah. Yeah. And, and, and you, you, you can't go outside the compound. But well, I, mean, I, don't think you're, I don't think your zombie is a natural leaper. I don't think they've got the, the not, body mechanics. Well, of they're, the, they're not very... I mean, um, but they're, they're probably still ill. There's yeah, no they're, reason, they're there's no reason poorly. why they should have got better. They were, if they were ill enough to die, mm-hmm. yeah. they're not going to be come out and be fleet of foot. When you say ill enough to die, I mean, they but didn't pass they away peacefully in their sleep. Have Who? they died or the are zombies? they in between? Didn't they? I thought they died in all sorts of different ways. 
No, don't, don't they, don't they get killed normally, zombies? Yeah. And that's no, why they will I kill again. They were just the dead rising up. Is that, no, is, is there they, a ha- they attack. Listen, let me tell you about zombies. Well, please do. They, I don't know if this is right, and I'm sure this will be a worse controversy than Spudgy Live. Don't imagine there's a nerd out there that's going to correct a, you isn't if it it's wrong. No. no, it's the vampire, <laughs> the vampiric principle. So that in order to oh. become a zombie, you have to be attacked by another zombie, I believe. Well, then where do zombies start? Well, though? quite. Where do vampires start? Your witness. 8, 12, 15. Where does zombie <laughs> start, be, though? You'll find, like, a man had a relationship <laughs> with a bat yeah. somewhere in Eastern Europe and he started off like that. Who hasn't? Who are we to judge? I bet that turned his sex life upside down. <laughs> <laughs> absolute, absolute, absolute radio. Frank Skinner on Absolute Radio. Uh, we've had some boasting come in. I'm going to be honest. I think <laughs> it's boasting. Nine four zero. Frank, where I live is practically a compound. I run a school sports ground in Guildford, and I have two fences. I'm growing all my own veg, shoots, and my house runs on oil. I'm ready to start my own town in the event of a zombie attack. Then I'd be a king, King Chris. <laughs> that's good to know. Where is it again? Guildford. Guildford. Yeah, that's where we should head in the event of a breakout. I, always, I imagine it's a quite. A, I've been there. It's a genteel sort of. A, it seems quite calm. When I I've always been remember there. I used to go there in the. Uh, I suppose it would have been in the eighties. Oh. And I used to so dream, that, dream of seeing Zola Bod training around the streets because she theoretically lived there. Did she? Was yeah. that um, pre or post that. beard? That would have been. I don't. That's think how she I, had, I don't think she had the beard. <laughs> Very Frank. good. That's but, how I view your life now. I think that was very was beard. That was old that Frank, who was beard and uh, pitch invader flares, yeah. which I always liked. Mm-hmm. Oh no, maybe I'd started doing uh, comedy Shaving. there. Cause why else would I have been in Guildford? Guildford would have seemed like the other side of the universe. Maybe there was a lady, a man knows? living in Harborne in Birmingham. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So we've also had some um, zombie news as well. Yes. Um, we've exposed our zombie ignorance. I well, think. we have. Yeah, zombies usually start, 362 says, with a virus that infects a scientist or a lab worker and spreads from there. OK. But how does it reach the dead? Well, I'll tell you exactly. What happens is 275 says, normally the first zombie gets infected by a man-made virus, then they infect others to become zombies by biting, scratching and so on. So they don't actually... Like they, and they, so on. <laughs> but don't they rise from the ground? Don't, isn't that... Don't they do that? Um, 323 claims, I think the first zombie was bitten by a zombie god called a Zod uh, that oh, descended well, now for we're hell. somewhere. No. And then that bitten zombie went on to bite more people. That's uh, from Taylor, aged 11, also aged 11, and uh, okay. impeccably composed text message. Yeah, and, and good facts. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, so, no hint of the theory is or the no, legend. Just yeah. all, all presented as yeah, facts. it on the light. I love it. So we're all happy about the zombies now. I'm not I'm happy. Well, it's I'm slightly terrified after the announcement. <laughs> yeah. We still don't know why they made that announcement. No, it's but, weird, isn't it? But you would, you would think... That people would take it with a with a pinch of salt. Mm-hmm. It's, I think it's one of those pranks, does isn't it? Yeah. It's like when you do your April Fool. Except to be fair to you, at least you do it on the appropriate day. When you said, I think the other year it was so that the quick come downstairs, the toilet's broken. Yes, <laughs> or my car's been stolen. That was it. Oh, yeah. that was terrible. That All well. of course, the one that went most wrong. <laughs> I've been offered a TV show with Gok Wan. Mm-hmm in which I wear avant-garde outfits, walk round northern towns, mm-hmm. and it's called Why Are You Wearing That? <laughs> and Kat <laughs> said Something to I'll me... Something I'll ask every day. Kat said to me, I think we might have to end our relationship. <laughs> You're not the person I thought you were. <laughs> it, and never as an April Fool. Actually, they probably have gone worse than that. But yeah, um, but yeah eight, that eight, was quite 12, 15, bad. 8-12-15, if you host it. 8-12-15. <laughs> oh, no, because there might... Well, I don't want ones that involve fatalities. Oh, not, but, not, um, come on, it's not our song. <laughs> no, exactly. Pardon? <laughs> Um, yeah, uh, yes. What am I saying yes to? Any ideas? Good See, people know. could take that yes in isolation and uh, superimpose then, it on a check. Oh, easily. Yeah. Would that work? Download it. I don't think so. <laughs> oh. By the way, um, is this what... No, no, I'm being waved at. I must... Um, I've, I've got something to plug, something that's happening on Absolute Radio tonight. I mention it now as an aid to memoir for the producer. Mm. Okay. Okay. Absolute, absolute.
Absolute, Absolute Radio. Frank Skinner on Absolute Radio. We're still getting zombie info in, but before I forget, uh... I think Big Daddy's got a bit of a, a special thing on tonight, Al. Oh, yes, oh, yes. yes. At, uh, at 10 o'clock on Absolute Radio tonight, ah. and also 8 o'clock tomorrow night, I'm interviewing um, Roger Daltrey. I mean, come on. Excellent. Legend! <laughs> yes, indeed. Uh, Roger Daltrey, uh, singer with The Who, of course. Yeah. The Who? And um, <laughs> tremendous Someone work. had to. It was you. Tremendous work. It'll also be available as a podcast. He, he was... Um, so we can listen to it John Bishop was saying, it's a really great chat. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, it was it was brilliant. Um, I, uh, I I really enjoyed it. And, bit uh, of overtime I, for you as well, isn't it? I can't wait. Oh, yeah. Bit of overtime. That'll look good next month when it he comes was, through. <laughs> Do you know, I'll never yeah. forget him on that li- live aid stage. Yeah. <laughs> Put him away for me on this. <laughs> Oh, great pudding week involved. <laughs> yeah, I'm doing a bit of. Uh, I'm doing it interviewing Roger Dalton. <laughs> Imagine if I'd said that when I worked at Use Johnson Stamp in <laughs> Langley Green. Can I do some overtime? Yeah, I'm going to interview Roger Dalton. <laughs> what? <laughs> Carry on. Can I just get a quick tease? Um, uh, did he? Is okay, he... it's a good job we got that, <laughs> got the blinds up on that window. <laughs> That's in the current climber. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> um. Did he? Is the hair still sort of, sort of luxuriant and curly? No, Roger I Daltrey. What's, what respect to Mondo to Roger mm. Daltrey because it's still curly because it naturally curls. He yeah. straightened it. He's in got, the he had days. great hair always. Yeah, but um, he's I don't cut, wish to reduce the man. It's cut um, fairly short now. He hasn't Lovely. gone for the Brian May. Please recognise me hairstyle. Um, and and uh, yeah, he just looks like. He's one of these, he sort of uh, looks the right age, if you know what nice. I mean, but in, in, in a good age way. Age appropriate. Yeah. Oh, I can't yeah. wait to listen to that. Okay, I'm there. Good. Um, Back to zombies. What else? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, <laughs> apparently uh, the king of zombies, Giorgio Romero, oh, says yes. when there's no more room in hell, the dead will walk the earth. That might explain some of it. Apparently. That's lovely. God, the Elvis crazy thing there. It's ridiculous. It's, ridiculous. it's everywhere. I isn't mean, it? I thought it was bad in London, but <laughs> in hell, hell must be pretty busy after the recent move towards atheism. Oh, oh I don't know about that. Uh, oh. Cramming them in, absolutely cramming them in. <laughs> Oh, no. Come on, you two. Oh, Come on, you two. No. Oh, funny. no. Oh, no, you didn't. I'm not sure it's that recent, the move towards atheism. OK. It's been knocking um, about for ages. Yeah, but it's, 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 it's grown in recent times. Yeah. Right. Bertrand Russell, yeah. right, you know. Yeah. yeah. He, was, he, was, he was in a minority. We're going to end the True. show on Bertrand Russell. Yeah, well, okay. about, Absolute think, radio. Yeah. Um, Ian Bottrell has got in touch to say regarding zombies, oh. <laughs> there is no such thing. Oh, oh, that's, I'm, that's good to clear that up at the end. I think Get we... an afterlife. Oh, very good. Oh, that is there good. You go. Also, if there's anyone who's anxious, there are. I don't think there is any evidence. No there one is, such is a thing. anxious. No, no, I don't think there is any. You evidence. don't know what kind of people we got listening out there. Fools. No, no I don't mean about. fools. <laughs> oh, my purple. absolute God. The People led. are nervous. Right, yeah, yeah. People have, I was just, used to say, have a nervous disposition. <laughs> Yeah. We get all sorts. We get steak eaters. could be eaters. children, though, as well. Listen, <clears throat> there are yeah. no zombies. You're all right. Don't have nightmares. Yeah, exactly. Don't have nightmares. That's my advice. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's cleared up all the possible... It, the whole life now is a sort of anti-complaint tactic. <laughs> For yeah. goodness sake. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> um, just, I'm just sometimes of, he gets glum about two hours and 58 minutes in. Yeah, no, yeah. that thing of he having does, to apologise on the off chance. Yeah. I know, it's, it's incredibly tiresome. It is. <laughs> but, man's got to work. <laughs> Fish got to swim, birds got to fly. I hope you did that in front of Roger Daltrey. That was a summary of the show. Birds oh. got to swim. Obviously, a, a reference to the Bird's Eye Steak Burger. <laughs> yeah. Steak Let's. Uh, yeah, and the birds, um, obviously, and the fish, uh, fish got to swim, obviously, to the pedicure fish. Yes. Yep. So it was a sort of a, a reverse version of the overture. <laughs> yeah. 
I'm going to end it in a minute. Don't worry, <laughs> Daisy. Um, and if the good Lord spares us and the creeks don't rise, we'll be back again this time uh, next week. Now get out. You're listening to the Frank Skinner podcast from Absolute Radio. Want your Frank fix a little sooner? Listen live every Saturday from 8 a.m. on Absolute Radio. Across the UK on digital radio, mobile apps, and in London and the South East on 105.8 FM. Absolute Radio.